In this video, we'll see how to install CentOS 8 on VMware Workstation. Now press Ctrl N for new virtual machine. Now choose your ISO image. If you want to install operating system later, you can check this option, otherwise leave it and proceed. Now fill your details like name, username, password. And if you haven't subscribed till now, just press the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can get these type of tutorials. Now let's see ahead. Please note that this password is for both user and root accounts. Now just choose virtual machine name. And if you want to choose another location, you can do that as well. Now from here, you can customize your hardware. Verify your network setting and proceed further. If you want to choose bridge, net or other options, you can choose that. And now close it. Now once this machine is created, now you have to power on the machine to begin the installation. Just click the power button on the top left corner. Now here just choose install CentOS. After a while it will begin the installation. You might get some error. If you see some error, please comment down below and let me know what error you are saying. So it has begun the installation and after some time I will skip this installation process where I install all the packages. So here choose your language, I am choosing English. Now here you can choose which software to install. I like to partition my on this so I will choose this as custom now just click here so that it can create default file system now you can modify this value according to yourself I will change root partition boot partition and swap because it's too much giving 1 GB of space to boot partition and I don't require swap as of now. If I require, I will add it afterwards. Uh, so I'm just giving 1 GB here. So it will ask you to confirm, just accept the changes and begin the installation. Yeah, this is very important. Just connect this and also change your host name. So you can do this even after installing the OS, but I like, I prefer this. So once it is done, just click on done and click begin installation. Now here you will see user settings. So here you have to create root password and user creation. That is the default user apart from root. So choose password here as per your need. Always choose a strong password for this. I have only chosen a simple one. So now I will speed up the thing so that we can do this video quickly.
so now OS has been installed just reboot the machine and proceed with the other details like setting up your profile for the first time 